Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm one of the developers of Cyber Launch Tycoon. A quick update on that, I can't believe that more than 100 people bought the game. It's still crazy to me that there are people out there who actually play something that I made. It feels really nice. I was supposed to be in Florida right now, but first this happened, and then as you might hear I got sick, and on top of that my flight got cancelled. And the weather is really crazy here. So I cancelled the trip altogether and decided to work hard on this week's update and the devlog. And there will be a small announcement at the end of the video. What did I do this week? On Sunday I updated the bridge. I worked on its materials, I removed the railing that was in here in the middle, so now the pedestrians can walk freely on the entire thing. And I updated the visuals of the empty shop and empty factory. I think this looks much nicer than just a blue box. But even this is a work in progress. On Monday, I started working on adding a water shader to the game. Because I felt that the bridge looks very plain without anything. So hopefully this will add some atmosphere to the game. Obviously this is still a work in progress. I'm still not sure about this shader. Also there is the problem when I move the camera. There is this white line. I need to figure out why it's happening and maybe uh, just change my approach altogether. And then I started working on the new feature of this week, the marketplace. I started by creating the logic of selling an order, buying ingredients and getting all the orders. So this time, for passing around the information, I took a different approach. If previously my approach was, for example, a player buys a shop, the player sends a request to the server, the server confirms whether the request is applicable, and then broadcasts to all the clients about the purchase. Here, the approach that I'm going with is different. Instead of having the server to broadcast about the marketplace and the sell orders, every time a client wants to interact with the marketplace, it requests from the server to send it all the information about the sell orders. When a player wants to sell something, the player sends the request to the server, the server confirms it, and that's it. I think this approach makes sense in this situation, because this is not something that everyone needs to know all the time. So with the shop example, the player needs to be updated right away if someone else bought the shop. With the marketplace, if I'm currently not using the marketplace, why do I care if someone sold or bought something? I only need to know about it when I actually want to interact with it. I think it makes sense. On Tuesday and Wednesday, I started working on the UI of the marketplace. And then I got tired of this font. I thought that it's time to finally change the font to something more readable. But because I don't have a specific font that I want to change, I know that I will be changing it quite a lot. I don't think Unity has something to help me with this, and changing the font to all the text components every time I want to try a new font seems ridiculous. So I decided to cheat a bit. I created a symlink, pointed it to the current font, changed all the text components to use the symlink instead, nothing broke. Then I pointed the symlink to the new font that I want to try. I just needed to reload the scene and everything worked. And now I can easily experiment with different fonts by just switching the symlink to something new. I think this is pretty clever and it kinda sucks that Unity doesn't have something built in for this. On Thursday and Friday I continued working on the marketplace on its UI and functionality. So let's see what we have so far. This is the marketplace window. We'll have the buy and sell tabs. Let's say I want to sell cheese. I'll click sell ingredient I'll choose cheese, the price that I want, the amount that I want, and I would click OK. Now another player can open their marketplace and see it. So currently this player is selling two cheese for five per piece. I know the UI is a bit ambiguous, it still needs some work. These are our ingredients, this is the marketplace, I buy something, money goes down, we get the ingredient. And if we look at the other player, we can see that their money went up. And now the amount says 1. That's really cool. And I can update the sell order. So for example, let's say I want to sell now 20 for the price of 4. Click OK. And we go to the other player. We open the marketplace. And everything is updated. Now I can buy 4 for example. So. I have 5 cheese now, the money went down, the money went up here, and the amount changed. 
and of course we can delete and I, I get back the resources and the order now is gone very nice I'm happy with the progress I made this week for this it was very challenging I'm still working on a lot of bugs and issues but so far it works pretty well and the final thing I did on Friday was this here's a cool unity tip Let's say you have these capsules and you want to align them. Instead of aligning with them one by one, you can do something like this. This is exactly what I use for my game. And that's it. That's the update for this week for New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, I have an announcement. So this Friday, Pirate Software started his game jam. I opted in to participate, so starting on Sunday, after I upload the devlog, I'll take a two week break from my game to work on this. I'm really curious to see what I can do in two weeks. The theme is it's spreading, I still have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start planning this either on Saturday after I'm done editing the devlog, or I will start on Sunday morning. But anyway, good luck to whoever participates in the game jam. I think game jams are a great idea. I myself participated so far in 5 of them, and then I started working on Cyber Launch Tycoon. And as you can see, this is very noticeable that the quality of the games goes up with every game jam. There's not gonna be a devlog next week because I'll be working on the game jam. I'll still continue to upload the updates on Twitter or X, and I really want to start uh, streaming more, so I'm probably gonna be streaming the progress of the jam. And if you want to support me, buy Cyber Launch Tycoon. And thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.